Hey readers, it's Mr. Marshall in Stony Lane. Um, I wanted to talk to you today because I know you've been doing a lot of good thinking and gathering facts in your nonfiction books that you've been reading. Is that true? Yeah. So, um, so it's important that, you know, once you have lots of facts that you start thinking about them, you know, because you've been around for a long time and there's a lot of things in this world that you already know a whole lot about. So the exciting part about reading nonfiction is when you can take a topic that you already like know a lot about and try to have like brand new ideas about them. OK, and so what I've done is I've been reading about whales. OK, and um, I've gathered lots of facts and I've kind of like put them together. OK, so take a look. So all these facts that are here on this page are about how whales do lots of things together in groups called pods. That's what they're called. They're called pods. OK, so it says they travel together in groups of up to 10. See that there? Males and females both take care of their young. They do that together. Females and their young have a very strong bond. I read that. Since they live for a long time, whales grow to be very close, like they have a good relationship. And whales sing to one another to communicate. And there's my picture of a whale, <laughs> just because I wanted to draw it. Um, so anyway, so what I'm thinking here is, you know, that's true about how they do all these things together in groups called pods. But what I want to do is like really anybody could have had that idea, right? That wasn't that hard. But what I want to do is I want to try and think of something new that maybe no one ever has ever thought about whales because of these facts. Okay. So the way I'm going to do it is first, I'm going to pick the fact that I think I could say the most about. Then I'm going to say a lot about the fact. Okay. And then I'm going to see, is there another fact that that reminds me of from my list? Okay. And then you'll see the rest. So let's try that. So I think the one that I, which one could I say the most about? Okay, I'm going to say most about this one. Since they live for a long time, they grow to be very close. So whales, that's right, because whales can live for a very, very long time. And they spend all that time together, so they kind of have this relationship. I'm going to keep trying to talk more. Since they've got this relationship and they're with the same whales all the time at the bottom of the ocean where there's like no one else they're going to bump into, they really must grow to like care for each other. In fact, one of the things that I read in the book was that when a whale dies in the pod, the other ones mourn. That means that they, they feel grief. They feel sadness the way that people do. Wow. And I didn't think animals could do that. Animal, I didn't think really animals did that. So now that must mean that they have a really tight relationship, almost like, like a family, right? Okay, so now I talked long. I thought about the fact I could think the most about. I talked long about that fact. Now I'm going to see, is there another fact that that reminds me of? But they're kind of like a family, right, in that way. Well, yeah, there's other ways that they're like a family because males and females are both taking care of their young, right? And in lots of animals, that doesn't happen. And it's, in lots of animals, only the female takes care of the babies, right? And the male is out doing stuff like going to get food or or protecting them or um, or the male isn't even there. Like I know there's other animals where that's the, the situation. It's just the female and the baby. So that's another way that that whales are like a family, right? So they're like a family because they grow to be very close because they're together for years and years. Um, they're like a family because males and females work together to take care of their young. Um, and sometimes in families, in human families, there's multiple adults that take care of take care of their young, right? Okay. So that's making me think that it's not just that they do lots of stuff together. They're kind of like a family, aren't they? Kind of like a family, like I'm getting a new idea now. Hmm. Is there anything else, else on my list that makes me think they're like a family? Let's see. Males and females. Okay, I read that. Females and their young have a very strong bond. 
Well, that's true for, for human families too, right? Because mothers and children usually have a strong bond and fathers and children have a strong bond. So that's, yeah, whale pods are kind of like human families in a lot of ways, right? They travel together. They travel together. Well, people do that, right? Um, what didn't I talk about? We'll sing to each other to communicate. Well, we don't always sing, but we communicate. So I'm going to change my idea. I'm going to revise my idea, sort of like I revise my ideas in writing. And I'm going to make a new box. Where did my pen go? And I'm going to say pods of whales are like human families in lots of ways. That's my new box. That's my new idea. And I could say all of these things are true. In fact, I could just do the revising right on my old box, can't I? That would save me lots of time. So um, I could say, I'm going to cross this out. I'm going to say pods of whales. My handwriting is really hard when I'm writing upside down like this, are like human families. You see what I did? Do you see how I took an idea that was like an okay idea and I changed it? So let's think of the steps that um, that I that I had. I picked the, the fact that I could talk the most about. I talked long about the fact. And I thought, is there another fact that that reminds me of? And I kept looking to see like the family thing, did that happen in all my facts or in many of my facts? And if it did, then I could revise my idea. And now as a reader, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my whale book and I'm going to keep looking for more ways that they're like a family, okay? Like a family of humans, okay? Why don't you try that with the book that you're reading? And if you're not reading about whales, that's okay. This works with anything. This works with anything. So go back and try that. And then you can tell me all about it next time I see you.